What's up, citizens? This is President Bocelli, starting a whole new Let's Play. I wonder what it is. Ah. Uh, it's time for me to shut up right now. What's that? It's just taped to the story. <laughs> Hold on, that Kamek, now now add on content to Paper Mario. <laughs> Literally just taped on. Okay, it's Kami Koopa. I forgot about that. Look at Bowser's dimples. Such a genuine smile. But yes, I am starting a Paper Mario Let's Play. This is actually incredibly significant for me because this was one of the one of the games that defined my childhood. So, uh, yeah, let's just type this in. But yes, um, I had no idea what this game would be like when I got it. Because, you know, I'm just a little kid at the time. I'm just like, oh, it has Mario. It looks kind of cool. Yeah, I want it. I want it, Mom. And one day, uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, it was just kind of laying there for me. And... Yeah, then I started playing it, and I fell in love with it. This game is just... incredibly... S hard... It's hard, to, it's hard to put in the words. I think the best thing I can say is, this game has a very clear identity. You know, it's a simple RPG that, um, you know, but... It's it still brings you in to the fighting because you actually have to press buttons to do more damage. So it's not just you select an attack and bam, that's it. You know, the world they create, just very interesting to explore. And incredibly varied as well. The music was absolutely amazing, which, uh, if you've heard me before, I think uh, music makes good games into great games, because it underlies what um, what's actually going on in the game. You know, it emphasizes it. It's like makeup enhancing beauty, I might say. Just, you know, just like, just like right now. How can you not be peaceful? You know, that, that, you know, just have Mario and Luigi strolling off to Peach's castle to have a party. And the music perfectly reflects that. Yep, and then, here we go. Yeah, you can talk to anyone. Let's see, I will only talk to the interesting looking toads here. Let's see, um, I think I have to decide something. Am I going to, um, 
recite all the text. You know what? Yes, I am. Say Mario, why don't you go see Princess Peach? I'll go later. I'm thinking I'm just gonna mingle for a while. Oh, look at Luigi being the party hopper. If you press A in front of the door, you can open it. Um, yeah, that's good. Now, usually how I play RPGs, I listen to what everybody says. Oh, wow, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at Peach's castle forever! Private chambers. Must be a bit tired. Okay, let's go to the second floor. But, uh, yeah, you see they're also, um... Well, kind of replicating how, um... Super Mario 64 looked. I come from a desert town called Dry, Dry Outpost. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous. So cool and comfortable. I even got the chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. What an honor. When I return to Dry, Dry Outpost, I'm going to tell everyone about it. Now, as you see already, um... Paper Mario breaks away from Mario in uh, quite a few respects. Especially um, in the department of actually having different characters from different places, not just a bunch of random nameless enemies. Look, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I want to talk to him and then I will go up to Peach's Chambers. I'm here on behalf of lovely Shiva City. I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs of a frost tea. But you see, what they're already doing is they're hinting that, oh, there's all these different places outside the Mushroom Kingdom you can go to. Yep, just gonna, uh, make a visit to Princess Peach here. Aww. Oh, Mario! You came to the party to see me! You're so sweet! Thank you! <laughs> I was just resting a bit, it gets tiring greeting all these guests out there. Nobody will bother us here, shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? Mm -hmm. It was such a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Nope, denied! Here comes Bowser with the giant cock block. An underground castle that is obviously compensating for something. You know, the, the dangling spiked balls that, okay. I'm going to try to keep the vulgarity out of uh, my favorite children's game, so... Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario, it's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside? <sighs> that... That's the... Bowser, but it can't be! It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? <laughs> can't do that very often, that will destroy my throat. Yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. We're sitting on my castle now. We weren't expecting that, huh? <laughs> this castle's under my control now, my dear. You are obey me! Kneel before Bowser! Oh, what's that? It's Mario! What a shock! Uh, not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. How 
Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario! Why don't you give up already? True, true. I've had my problems in the past, but this time it is different. This time, I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Okay. So yep, here is the battle interface. Simply, you select a uh, attack type, use item, or um, strategies, like uh, switching characters or running away. But yep, I'm just gonna jump. Bam, one, one damage. Look at how powerful Mario is. Now later on, you will see, um, you know, how the battles get a bit more in depth. Because, um, eventually you can press a button at just the right time uh, to do more damage, and it's awesome, awesome mechanics. So anyway, <clears throat> good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side, but today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. And now, the Star Rod Bowser. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. Now, listen to that music. Just see how cocky Bowser is. And then one, uh, just a couple of more things to emphasize. Um, just how much of a B.A. Bowser is. So, he already tripled his damage output. And you can't do any damage to him. <laughs> is that all you got? How sad. You best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. Mmm. Now, Paper Mario, I think, is the first game to actually make Bowser threatening. Honestly, he's never been threatening in the other games. But this, he just comes in with this complete BA music, he turns invincible. Like, he's actually threatening, and that is just kudos. So, it's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. And then he kills you. Look at that. Oh no, Mario, get up. <laughs> yes, oh yeah, I did. I finally did it! I beat my old rival Mario! Yes! Um... For some reason, I don't know whether uh, I should do a male or a female voice for Kami Koopa. <laughs> Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. <laughs> That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. And then he throws you away like garbage. All throughout the game, now you're just wondering, how the heck do I beat Bowser? See, just a brilliant opening. I hope you're getting a sense now why I like this game so much. Yeah, it also, you know, frames itself as this really epic quest. Because you look, it, it's announcing the parts, you know, it's like you're going through a book. You know, or watching a play.
Hmm. Wow, those look familiar. Oh, thank heavens! It's been gr he's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. <clears throat> but Bowser has the star rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. <clears throat> Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, our fates are in Mario's hands. <clears throat> we must try to revive him. Gather around, everyone. Send Mario your power. Phew, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. It really sounded like something fell somewhere around here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, who could that be? This red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. I I'm, I'm trying to figure out the voice for her as I go along. Just, excuse me. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up! Come on, open up! <coughs> oh no, he won't wake up! <laughs> I still can't figure it out. Obviously. Oh, what am I gonna do? Dad, go pa, go Mario. <clears throat> Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Elm Star, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. I mean, not only is Eldstar here, um, you know, very faint, his text is very faint. You know, like, he's using just the, just the rest of his already meager power, uh, to try to contact you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need you to, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario. The Star Spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake. Uh, or should I do the uh, actual tour voice? You haven't opened your eyes for days and days! No, I'm not gonna do that. Everyone's been worried sick. This place? Well, this is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toe Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you to get better. Oh. Huh? A star with a mustache? A star with a moustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that, and I'm sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream. Maybe. Although, maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that makes sense. Who knows, in any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. And here we go, setting out to the wild, wild grand world. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of blocking Goombario here. Yeah, I'm being a jerk, aren't I? Hey, Mario, I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. Mario, you look better. I'm so glad. I was really worried about you because you were lying in the forest and you didn't open your eyes at all the whole time. All right, Granny Goomba. Oh, Mario, hello, dearie. You may call me Goomba. 
I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's the way I get the name. <laughs> Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goombaria. Why? She just looks like I did when I was young. <laughs> I didn't see, I'm really getting into this. Go out to the park. Go out to the porch. Don't know why. I love, um, I love Goompa here. Oh, oh you just on me. Oh, yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good. Nude you pull through. Call me Goompa. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I'm Goompa. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. Let's see, let's go ahead and save for a little bit. And uh, I'll also take this opportunity to uh, explain a few rules of this Let's Play. So, as uh, I already said, I'm not going to talk to everyone. That's uh, a really big uh, use of time. I only talk to the people I want to. Also, uh, let's let's see. Speaking of uh, saving time, when we eventually get into battles, if we're uh, just battling the same enemies over and over again, I'm just going to cut those out. Let's see. And finally, finally, um... Or maybe not finally. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking up rules as I as I uh, go along. Hmm. 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 Okay, that's right. Uh, as you see the screen layout here, uh, I have the star sprites at the bottom. Well, yes, you're supposed to find them throughout the game, and as we find them, well, yeah, I will. Um, <laughs> I will make them not monochrome. So I will give them color, let them come to life on the screen here, uh, to let you know how far we have progressed. Um, and I think the last thing I want to tell you for right now is that uh, videos will probably be about 30 to 40 minutes, uh, because, yeah, if the editing I have to do, uh, do with these, if I'm cutting out battles and all that, it's going to take a significant amount of time. But hey, uh, you know what? Even if it has not been 30 to 40 minutes, you know, I kind of got to get my... I kind of got to get a feel for how long a video is running. Um, I'll just end this one right here, and we will pick up next time right under the save block. So, hey, thank you very much for watching, citizens. If you like this Let's Play, and, you know, if you're pumped to see more, please click that like button and comment. Uh, you know, just leave a comment on your thoughts about the video, the game, etc., etc., just whatever you want. Um, also, if you could share this video with other people, if you uh, know they... If you know, if, or if you think they'll like, um, you know, Paper Mario here, yeah, that'd be great too. You know, uh, try to pick up some viewers on uh, on the series. And finally, uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel and to follow me on Facebook and Twitter links, which are in the description below. <laughs> sorry, lots of sorry, I'm doing a uh, lots of dialogue here. Mouth's getting kind of dry. Anyways, um, subscribe, Facebook, Twitter, uh, to stay updated on my videos, including this series. I have uh, tons of stuff for everyone, just a little something for everyone. So again, thank you very much for watching, and until the next episode, this has been President Vocelli, signing off.